Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Um, Vlogmas Day 7 is still uploading and uh, I'm still in my bed playing with Louis and he just scratched my middle finger pretty badly. It's bleeding now. But, you know, it's fine. I still love him. So today is not going to be an interesting day because I'm going to be cleaning the house all day and... I'll be doing like emails and stuff like I'm gonna try and uh, work a bit more I have to write an article for January's issue of Panela <laughs> uh, before I go to Paris I just have loads of stuff to do today and nothing to vlog I recently got quite a few clothing items and I filmed them, I filmed myself trying them on and showing the items. So I'm gonna include those clips in this vlog for you guys so that you have something interesting to watch. Okay, let's open day eight in my advent calendars while Louis is wrecking my Christmas tree. Are you day eight? Here you are. It's a Christmas tree. And I'm gonna eat you now. Because I'm always so hungry in the mornings. Mm. It's fantastic, I'm guessing. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, this one is pretty big actually. It's quite a big pack. Let's do Tanya's now. This is always so exciting. I don't want this calendar to end. And I just realized that I have only four doors left to open, right? So it's only 12 days. Oh, another new file. Love yourself for who you are. I like these inspirational quotes as well. <sighs> always so difficult to get out. Look how pretty. And it's pink on the other side. Hey. It's just sleeping next to the radiator. I feel like switching up my breakfast today, so I'm gonna have this porridge. And I'm not the biggest fan of it, but. I suppose you can add lots of things to make it taste better. So I'm going to add honey and bananas. It's um, whole grain flakes, oat flakes and coconut crumbs. So yeah, it looks really delicious, but it's not that delicious. It's just okay. So that's our Christmas tree downstairs. The theme is red and silver. Here's a silver star. It's really twinkly, it's really nice at night. Bright blue skies, the sun is shining, there's a little bit of frost. It's like real winter weather. But I wish it were snowing as well. Hi mister, what are you up to? So I'm gonna cozy up here on the sofa with a big fleecy blanket and I'm gonna have my breakfast so that's what my porridge looks like. Added one banana, lots of honey and cinnamon so hopefully it will taste nice and a cup of coffee as usual. Oh by the way, these chocolates are so delicious. They're just marzipan chocolates but they're so yummy. If you love marzipan you're gonna love these. They are by Lithuanian Chocolate Company, AG Chocolate. Look at that scenery, it's so beautiful today. Sun is shining. Can you hear that? My grandfather is playing violin in the kitchen again. He's playing it every day, so sometimes I just come back home and I hear him playing. He plays piano sometimes as well, so it's really nice having him um, in the house for a week. It gets very musical. It makes it more festive somehow. 
The sun is shining, Christmas is coming. Let's enjoy it for a minute. I really wish I could play an instrument. This violin actually belonged to my aunt, mother of uh, my cousin Linda. Linda, my aunt, my mom, they all play piano. And I cannot play any instrument and I'm so sad. I remember my mom teaching me how to play piano but I failed miserably. And then I was trying to learn how to play guitar on my own. I even have a book on how to learn to play guitar but I just couldn't do it. You know it's hard on your own, you have to have um, a teacher. Okay guys, it's like midnight already, but I'm gonna show you some new fashion items that I got. So I'm not gonna do like a separate sit down haul, but I'm gonna show you everything. I guess I'm gonna try everything on camera so that you have a better idea. So this is what I wore to a fashion show. So that's my new coat. It's from Choice. And as you can see, it has slightly shorter sleeves, so your jumpers will peek through. Um, I think it's meant to be like that, but I'm not sure. So it's more like a boyfriend blazer kind of thing. And I really like the color palette of it. So it has navy blue, it has this moss green color, kind of like a um, beige color, and then a burgundy color. All meshed together, it has pockets, and I think it looks really young and stylish. And it has this kind of cocoon uh, shape to it. Another item I got is these booties from Zara and these are actually non-leather boots. Usually I buy only leather shoes because they are much more comfortable, they last a lot longer and they're just better quality. But I just fell in love with the model of these shoes. Um, I really like the shape how it's not like super pointed, it's not too round or too square. I think they copied the style of Saint Laurent boots because that's pretty much the front of Saint Laurent shoes. And the heels have silver studs all over them. And the best part is that these shoes were only 35 euros. But they look like expensive shoes, don't they? But yeah, they're inexpensive Zara booties. I put insoles on the inside. These are by Kiwi and they're wool um, insoles. So they're gonna keep my feet warm throughout winter. So if you put insoles like that, you will be able to wear autumn shoes in winter. Moving on, another item I got is from Massimo Dutti and I got it during um, kind of like a Black Friday sale. Well, we had a day called Yamam where everything was on sale. So I got this with a 20% off discount and it's just a very basic, simple jumper. Exactly the type of stuff that I love to wear and I wear a lot. So I'm gonna keep this jumper for years, I think. Um, so yeah, it's just like a gray kind of bat wing sleeve, slouchy kind of boxy jumper that looks really effortless, casual and just beautiful. It makes me feel like Rosie Huntington widely wearing it because she wears jumpers like that. Lui. <laughs> and this one is wool and cashmere blend. Um, and the jumper was reduced from 50 to 40 euros. This one is in size L, normally I wear extra small or small, but because it's supposed to be like a baggy jumper, size L actually works for me and it looks really slouchy and elegant. This is what the jumper looks like on, so as you can see, it's really slouchy, comfortable, super warm. It's gonna be a staple in my wardrobe for years to come. It's great for traveling, it's great for everyday wear, for anything really. Another item I got is this gorgeous scarf from Choice. I love the color palette on it. It's very warm tone and just a gorgeous, gorgeous autumnal scarf. Now, I do have similar scarves from Zara, so I think I'm gonna give it as a Christmas present to my boyfriend because he saw mine from Zara and he was like, I love this scarf. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna give this to him and I might steal it sometimes. So this scarf is almost like a big blanket. You can wrap it around your neck and you're gonna be really warm and toasty and I love the colors on it. Next item is actually one of my favorites. I absolutely adore it. It's stunning. It's really good quality, incredible color and it looks 
so expensive and just oh it's gorgeous i cannot get over it again kind of gives me rosie huntington and whiteley vibes and it says divided by h&m but it's not an h&m jacket at all um it's by choice it's such a luxurious looking like, khaki color that's what the bomber looks like on you can throw it on with black skinny jeans black booties like i'm wearing right now and put a scarf like that a big tartan scarf uh, around your neck and you're good to go. So that's what it would look like with a scarf. The colors actually go together really really nicely. And that's a perfect autumnal outfit for you. This one is just a sheer gray top. It's not like a warm winter jumper. It's just something to lounge around the house in and I really like the coppery or like rose gold um, elbow patches. Because it adds that kind of Christmassy, festive touch to the jumper. And yeah, I'm gonna wear it around Christmas time. And then this is another jumper. Um, yeah, it's a very simple model, but I love the color. On camera, it looks brighter than in real life. It's like dark wine color. So that's the sheer gray top with coppery elbow patches. And I really like this dark burgundy jumper, so I just roll up my sleeves a little bit and tuck in the front bit to give it kind of more of a casual feel again with simple black Chelsea booties and a coat it would look really nice for a um, casual everyday wintry outfit and then the last item I got is a coat from Benetton because you guys might know I've been looking for a bathrobe kind of style coat with um, little tie around the waist and it has these huge lapels on the front which I was never a big fan of but I just really like the material and the color of the coat obviously I wanted a beige coat this is what the coat looks like undone I really love it from the back it's gorgeous the problem is is that it's not a natural material it only has 20% wool it's polyester nylon acrylic so not a very good quality material, but it's really difficult to find a beige coat in the style that you love, reasonably priced and um, made of great material. So yeah, I'm gonna do this one. So I'm gonna tie it up now. Okay, so this is what it would look like. Um, it's the, from the side. One thing I'm not super happy about is that the tie is too short. I mean, it just hangs there. So I wish it was longer. I would wear it undone like that anyways, most of the time. Um, so yeah, these are all of the clothing bits that I got and I hope it was interesting for you. I think it's about time I clear out my handbag because it's such a mess. I cannot find anything anymore. Look at that, that's a pile of junk. Oh my goodness, I'm not the most organized or neatest person there are when it comes to handbags. Okay, I kind of sorted out everything. Look at the amount of receipts. Lip products, why do I need three nail files in my handbag? I do not know. And why they're not in a makeup bag, I don't know as well. Since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow I'm just scheduling my vlogmas day 7 So that's my kale with garlic and a sweet potato So I'm only eating half of my sweet potato and the other half I'm gonna freeze. So that's my dinner guys, sweet potato, hummus, roasted kale, so now it's crunchy but I'm still not impressed with the taste. And that's my salad just like yesterday, tuna, rocket, parmigiano, olive oil and lemon and lots of salt and pepper. And I'm gonna have it with my pink lemonade. I just came back home, I'm pretty tired, I had some errands to run, had to do 
some things in the city but nothing vlog worthy so I didn't even take my camera. I met my cousin Daiva, she's so excited uh, about going to Paris in a week and by the way she told me she's watching my vlogmas she was like did you upload yesterday's vlogmas already <laughs> and she said uh, that's what I do when I get back from work I watch your vlogmas and I think that's so sweet because my family doesn't watch my videos at all and uh, it's so nice to know that she watches my vlogmas videos let's open the magazine um, Louis is you know <laughs> where he always is <laughs> sleeping out of my bed what they included daily card that's so amazing because with this daily card you get so many discounts look in 718 beauty shops and restaurants and coffee shops for you know clothing for everything it's like a, an amazing discount card and you get Nescafe 3 in 1 coffee so that's December's cover Oh, the makeup is so beautiful. I love the colors on this cover. It says celebrate. Um, yay! Oh, look, it's sparkly. <laughs> As you can expect from December's issue. Home spa. Oh my god, Lush product. Butterbeer. <gasps> oh, that's gonna be... Look at that! So my article this month is a makeup tutorial for Christmas Eve or just you know a festive makeup tutorial step by step with loads of pictures so I'm not gonna show you everything because you have to get the magazine for that but for those of you who are not from Lithuania and cannot get your hands on the magazine um, I'm gonna show you a couple of pictures probably that's the final result so exciting so I'll have something to read. I guess that's gonna be it for Vlogmas Day 8. I wanna wake up early tomorrow at like 6 o'clock or something to do some work and do all of the things that I have to do and then, um, you know, to be able to have a free day afterwards for vlogging, for editing, just for whatever I wanna do. Maybe I'll do some baking tomorrow, I don't know. So, I will try and go to sleep early today because usually I go to sleep at 3, 4 and I desperately need to dye my hair tomorrow. I think I might do it in the morning with my mom before she leaves for work and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Should we remake up her crate? Is it because she's missing her crate? But she's missing her crate without it? I don't know, it was just so stressful.